Today we're going to be replacing the fuel filter on my 2002 BMW 520i. The process is pretty much the same for every BMW uh, that I know of uh, to start with. Um, you've got to remove the underside and um, underneath the passenger door to uh, get out the fuel filter uh, and then you know replace that. There's generally two different types of filters you have. You have this one, which is the cheapest and the most easiest to work with. You have one inlet and one outlet. Or in my case, you have this one, which has two inlets and two outlets. You see it's slightly different and slightly longer. You make sure you've got the right one by checking the part number. Take out the fuse for the fuel pump to reduce the fuel spillage. Uh, the fuse is normally in the glove box with mine 2231 fuel pump. Yeah. So just I'll just take out both of those for good measure. So now that that's done, you just jack it up um, so you can get underneath. Here's the tools I'm using anyway. Uh, it's just a simple panel removal tool there. Uh, a 10 millimeter socket, an eight millimeter socket, and then just this in case I need it to get the pop rivets out. Okay, so right now I'm by the front wheel. Some people choose to take the front wheel off. I don't see the point. You've got two eight millimeter socket heads there. Uh, one there and one there and then that's it for this wheel arch and then you move underneath the car. I personally like to do the pop rivets first. There's six along here and what I do if I can't use the flat head to work it out I just use these things right here. Little jaws because I grab onto, you can't do that on all the things because it's not enough room because it's like little uh, flutes you know you just work it out like that, so there's a nice little gap there now. And then I go ahead and grab my panel removal tool. Like that, and then just literally out it comes. There's actually only uh, five of these pop rivets. You've got a key there near the front wheel, like a little bolt there. Uh, you want to replace, you want to take that one out, not that one. It's this one. And then you've got another one, you see there's a little notch there in the plastic and uh, there'll be one behind it. There's one more here, right there. And then there'll be one in the plastic hidden, just, if I can get a camera there. But there it is, hidden behind the frame and that comes off and then once that's off, you want to push this panel away from you and then you put it down from the front I find it's easiest, you put it down from the front here so you push it that way and then you put it down and it should just come out then quite easily these ones with the uh, big plate on it are 10 millimeters, and then these ones are 8 millimeters. I just get a panel remover tool and I stick it in to here and then just gently pop it up and then these things will fall out. So now you can see it's quite loose now. So now you just push it towards the other side of the car and then push this bit down or just wiggle it out. It should just pop out. There you go. Now because I've taken this off before it's quite clean but I can assure you that when you take it off for the first time you'll be amazed the amount of stuff that comes out of it. So you'll want to wear safety goggles because uh, if you don't you'll get a load of crap in your eye and you don't want that. You can see the fuel filter and that's the fuel lines running to it. And because mine is a nice and complicated one, you've got two inlets there, that's the part number, and then you've got two outlets. When you get your new petrol filter, you're going to get these little uh, covers on them so when you uh, take the old one out to stop the petrol from coming out of the filter stick these little rubber things on the new on the old uh, pipes so it stops the uh, fuel coming out then normally you have these nice little flat heads here that one's disgusting but I have these things you can see they're sort of a weird thing now what they're designed to do uh, you've got to get a flathead screwdriver in there and pry it off. Just a top tip, if you have one of these pumps you're going to have a pipe that's like this and what I'm doing as opposed to pulling it and possibly stretching it or tearing it, which is a bad thing to do, I'm just getting a flathead screwdriver and then just prying it up like that. 
and that is a much easier and less dangerous method and as opposed to ruining your pipe than pulling it. So eventually, with a lot of um, prying of the, uh, with a the, with the screwdriver and also a pair of pliers, I disconnected this bit of the filter from uh, the pipe and I didn't spill any, which I'm quite pleased with. And it's another pipe off. And a good thing you need to know about it, I was a bit surprised actually, is that the pipe does not leak fuel. So I've got the um, buckle off and you can see that you use pliers and it's basically like a buckle system. If I was you, just replace those with these, it's so much easier for if you ever have to do it again. Just replace it with one of these, it's well worth it. <laughs> Same procedure with the other pipe. As you can see, it's not coming out, there's no fuel coming out the pipe, and it's not clamped down anywhere. The caps are on the filter, all I've got to do now is just literally take this bolt out for the bracket, and then uh, stop the other one. This is the new filter here, and this is the old one. Now this car's done 122,000 miles nearly, and I've had, a, I've had an engine management light on ever since buying this car pretty much and it was always coming up with a code of fuel flow issue. So I tried looking for all the pipes and everything and I could never find anything that was wrong with the pipe. This fuel filter is the original fuel filter. I've got a date on here somewhere. Look at that. This fuel filter is the f original fuel filter on this car. It's really unbelievable. It, it is so old. It's only supposed to be, it's supposed to be changed every 30,000 miles. This car has been serviced by BMW eight times. Um, and it's still this original fuel filter on this car. So it just goes to show you cannot trust anyone other than yourself when it comes to maintaining, maintaining your car. Other than that, I mean, you know, the reason, the, how you check for, uh, to see if your fuel, fuel, fuel filter is uh, gone, basically, this one is much heavier. Many more deposits and everything and crap is gunged up in there. What you do is you, you blow through here um, and then uh, you should be able to blow through it quite easily, you know. And if you're if you blow through this one, I'm not going to. But if you blow through this one, um, you'd be able to tell. You know, it'd be blocked. You wouldn't be able to. Uh, it'd be difficult to blow through, or you wouldn't be able to blow through it at all. When you put the fuel filter back on, there's a directional arrow here, and you've also, hopefully, if you haven't, uh, but you might, you should have anyway. Uh, you should have an in here. It's upside down but you can see it's in and uh, there'll be an out here somewhere as well and you just put it so this arrow will be facing towards the front of the car you put your fuse back in the fuse box and now before you start the car up you put the key in the ignition 2 or position 2 you don't start the car up for at least a couple seconds maybe wait 10 seconds I'll wait 10 seconds after you put the key in ignition 2 because it's getting the fuel uh, filter primed and pressured. 